and we're back with the next episode of the TM School speedrun. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to tackle curve, platform, plastic, ice, and grass. Those five surfaces you will learn today in this video. Let's go! Before we begin, I cannot skip over the explanation on how to start a slide exactly in the last video. So we're going to add that here real quickly before we get into it. So you're all prepared for this video. Map six. All right, we start with a booster. Oh, okay. It's going to be the first slide, ladies and gentlemen. First time we go drifting like this in Trackmania. Now, how does the drift work in Trackmania? It's very different from uh, how you would usually do it. You need to start steering before you drift. So you launch your steering into the direction you want to drift before. I will turn right here and then tap or hold the brake. Depending on how hard I want to slide. I want to slide very hard, so I hold it here to make the turn. But you need to start sliding to the right before. You need to start turning to the right. Because if you compare this, how would you drift an IRL car? Well, you would brake and then turn, which would result in this, which doesn't work in Trackmania. So you need to steer before you start sliding. Before you tap the brake, you need to be sliding. It's the same thing as before. You need to try to keep as much speed as possible. So it's always beneficial to dra drift the least. Like you do not want to slide a lot. You want to drift as less as possible. To just make the corner and get good speed. If you turn more, slide more, you will lose speed. And it will, well, yeah, you will lose speed and you will be way slower. So you want to maximize exit speed, angle, and everything. There's a thing in Trackmania, it's not necessarily like you would do it RL. You would, you would take like a huge turn here, go very wide to get maximum exit speed. While that would work if the straight afterwards was longer. But here, the straight is not that long. So you can drive a little bit closer to the inside to gain more time in the turn itself you will lose speed afterwards but it's gonna be beneficial because as you can see the finish is pretty close here all right let's do it let's see if i can get it here we go ah, that's not okay I'm gonna need a little more i'm gonna need a little bit of a better slide here that's good Yes! Yes! <laughs> here we go, curved. We lost two seconds, but that doesn't matter because here we go on curved. Aye. The curved block in Trackmania, as you can see, very dangerous block. You need to calculate that your car always keeps grip. You do not want to, like, drive over the middle and fly out. So here, for example, I had too much speed. That's why I flew. So I want to stay on the inside, keep full grip. If you don't lose full grip, it's going to be way better on everything in Trackmania. You always want to have as much time as possible on the ground. Now, this map will come down to precision. So you're just going to go very far inside. Ah, but there you see it too far inside and you will lose grip the sausage block as it's called in trackmania or curved in this campaign is very dangerous so you want to go wide and then set up to the inside take all the speed and get into the finish it's um was for me one of the most complicated surfaces to learn in this game it is very difficult to get used to because of the constant angle you're driving in that you have to well calculate oh add a little bit of a jump and that's obviously slower you do not want to jump let's get the at on map curved number one here. I think I need to set up a little wider here. And then go towards the inside. Keep grip. Oh, I didn't keep grip. Yeah. As you can see, it's not easy. <laughs> you have to really figure out the surface. That should keep grip. That is good. That is good. And that is the AT. Let's go. Does it split? It splits. It works. Okay. Next map here. We have the same thing. Oh, we have transfers. So this is a... Oh, God. This is bad. Wait. I was I thought I was going too fast. I wanted to give another try. So on this map, we're gonna have transfers. So you always wanna do a little jump transfer into the next turn, which helps you setting up the next turn. This is where sausage blocks are very effective. Now, obviously, in the first one, you don't have the speed, so you're just gonna go smooth over the middle. Try to keep the grip. Same with the second one. But here for the last one, you wanna jump into the inside. And then probably go smooth again into the finish. That's what I assume for this map would be the best line. So, uh, he's got to make sure, abuse the angles of the sausage block to get the most ideal lines out of this. You want to jump the least possible, though, in this setup. And then just keep a tight line to the finish, and you'll get the AT. Okay. Map number three. Let's see what we have here on the curved block. All right, once again, stay tight to the inside. Again, as much time. Then we have a... Okay, very interesting 
blocked there. Okay, I'm on the wrong line, I think. Wait, this is actually fast. Please don't BAT. Poof. That's actually good. So, what you have to watch out for when you go up an uphill, or in general on this. So, it is angled here. So, you want to keep as much grip as possible. And you want to be on the side of the block, because it's the lowest. If you go into the middle, the block is obviously higher. So, you stay on the low end. And therefore, you won't go up as much. And it's going to be easier to drive. The second thing is always keeping grip so i'm not sure if you want to go left to right or right to left i think you want to do like this to keep all the grip here then go from the middle in this so you get a smooth line over the middle of the block keep all the grip and therefore get the most speed possible out of it you always want to stay on the ground in this game unless you're driving on a penalty surface like penalty grass penalty sand or something like this do not lose grip on sausage is the rule yes that, now that sounds to some chatters that may sound sus but i swear to god it's not sus okay you can Okay, don't lose grip. Have a lot of speed. And that's the exact AT. Very good. I forgot to mention until now. But on curved blocks, a very, very big start trick is to steer immediately down. Because obviously the start in the middle is higher. So you want to go to the side and accelerate faster because you're going down a hill. That is effective on all sausage starts. And a very, very good tip to remember. You want to go to the side immediately so you get more speed. So here we have some transfer jumps. Which, yep, that's not gonna work. Transfer jumps, you wanna set up as much as possible where there's high elevation on the side, like here. So you can jump high enough to land smooth in the next one. But then again, you wanna do the same thing here, which I didn't get there. Remember what I said on the map before? Minimize airtime. Always minimize the time in the air. So you wanna take the lowest jump possible to still get a good landing. You can land too early and lose all your speed as well. So don't wanna do that. And I think, oh yeah, that. So, but don't jump too low because then this will happen. And that's a bad landing. You'll lose all your speed. And that's not effective. This is not an easy map to uh, play. As if, I, if, if I'm having this many problems, I'm already scared. Okay, we transfer to the middle so we don't have to take another bump. And then precision on the inside and get the AT. Just like that on the first finish. How do you set up a slide on a sausage, you may ask? A drift. You want to be slightly on the other side of the sausage then the turn you're going to be turning into. So you want to stay right of the middle there for the slide and then start it to go to the left. So slightly off on the right, go over the middle to the left, keep the grip and go into the finish. If you set up the slide on the same side as you're going to, it's almost impossible. It would be like this and that is not going to work. So you always want to set up the slide on the other side of the middle of the sausage to get an easier setup and an easier drift. But still remember the basics from the road tutorial that you have to go a little bit steering to the left before you start the drift. Because otherwise, it's not gonna work. I need to... I need to stay... Okay. Here. Calculate how much sliding you need. That was pretty good. Don't jump. And there we go. That's the AT. Jumping in Trackmania. Oh, first thing, go down early. As you can see, I have more speed because I went down early for the speed. Second thing, you want to land smooth here. So you want to make the entire jump. So make sure to jump as high as uh, high enough to make the jump. And here jump low off the sausage. So you get a good angle into the finish. This map is full speed. So here with the booster you go slowly down to take more speed. Don't, want, don't do it instantly. Like don't do this. Because then the path you're taking is too long. But go gradually down to get more speed. Gradually down for more speed. Then jump far enough to get a smooth landing here. That was... Uh, yeah, almost good. Another precision turn and then jump into the finish off the side of the sausage. Because this could happen if you don't do it. Um, obviously, if you take a jump from the side and jump towards the middle to lift off. Like, jump from the right and jump towards the middle, you'll get more height and jump further. Like this. Uh, I jumped a bit too far there and this is going to hit the finish. I jumped a little too far there and didn't get the smooth downhill. I'm having trouble landing this smooth. Not gonna lie, I'm having a lot of trouble landing this smooth. That was good. Okay, here we go. I had the left back wheel, no, the right back wheel gripping, which gave me the smooth landing. We go into the finish, and that's the AT. Okay, map platform number one. Here we go. This is the surface often used for full speed tracks and other stuff. It's way wider than normal road. It doesn't have barriers, except when you build something like this. Right? It works. Nice. Okay, a little bit of an uphill. You want to keep grip. What is this? Okay, and I already jumped off. I'll switch the camera to camera one here so we can actually see a bit more of the map. So uphills, you want to go to the side so you keep speed. Then do a little jump here. 
um and i'm guessing this is full speed turning into the finish yes driving an uphill is faster if you drive it slightly sideways because uh the car can accelerate better in an uphill if you drive it sideways and you jump into this last corner don't forget the air brake and uh, yeah what's the difference between road and platform somebody asked there is not uh, there's no difference in terms of how you steer and how you drive on it a trick to learn here in this jump you come in at an angle where you steer to this a lot of people will do this and as you can see the landing is very bad what do you have to do here to get as much speed at the exit of possible it is called straighten out your car so one tip is you need to air brake when you're well when you get a flat landing on the surface the second trick and very important in this game is called counter steer so right when i jump off i steer to the left to counter the sideways movement of the car mid-air so it straightens out to land this helps you a lot at keeping speed in jumps so you keep your momentum forward and you don't drop the speed just like this here steer to the left count it you only need to do it once it will work you don't need to hold it if you hold it it goes a bit harder i think if i think it's cancelled a little more but still it works if you just do it once and that is very important here so counter steer air brake to get a smooth landing and then go around the turn and go into the finish platform two here we go we have an uphill again with a sharper edge so you see this edge way sharper go up the hill and then we have another one of these and then you go to the finish so that was purposely a little bad what you want to do is the standard trick no air time so you want to steer towards the edge like this go in a go in a smooth and very low angle towards the edge to keep all your speed over it so ideally i want to start steering left and then get it perfect till the edge so i have to get the perfect moment to start steering left here that was good and there we go 80 very nice next map we're going to platform four what do we have here? is this our first wall ride am i seeing a wall ride okay it's our first wall ride where you drive around these walls we're gonna drive twice around such a very nice wall here um okay few things i'm not the best on a vest but i'll try my best at teaching it to you guys okay wall rides you want to enter with not too much angle and steer only down when you're inside so you want to steer up here but then only down you do not want to correct upwards while you're in a wall ride also recommended to use camera free here like this or the other one this these two to drive this um do not drive upwards while you're inside of the wall ride like don't steer to the left in those twos um and keep as much speed as possible so smooth entry okay that was a bit too late you want to enter exactly at the edge at these edges here you want to ex exactly enter there to keep the most speed possible so here i fucked it and i died yep obviously yeah it reset on its own program i don't know why it's just good software all right smooth downhill same again here a little wide exit stay low but not too low get it smooth only right steering and suck that's the 80 map fight what do we have here i see poles i see a downhill i see a left turn we just hold left very nice oh god oh god okay half pipe tutorial for everybody the half pipes very important so these half pipes are on the same block they're not not on the like it's not one further back than the other so you need to jump off at the top of it you cannot jump off at the sides when you jump when you jump off here you need to jump off at this edge you can't jump underneath because underneath it's not flat and if it's not flat your car will fly behind this and you won't make a smooth landing so you need to jump off when it straightens out right here this is where your right tire should touch to get it perfectly yeah i'm, I'm the wrong person to coach this i i'm messing up the jumps all right once again less air time above the above the black sign again here please for the love of god stop being stupid scrappy yes that's good not a good angle but i made it all right and we go again very steep one here where we have to jump up a little more release mid-air to land early go towards the finish and that's gold now we go for the 80 middle thanks i learned how to miss i'm very sorry about that one <laughs> okay let's do it good so jump as low as possible that should work very good landing there same here jump as low as possible that was very good get all the speed on the landing and then once again jump as low as possible that was a bit too high lost a bit of speed is it 80 it is and now the plugin is obviously stuck again because we love trackmania plugins all right into the plastic campaign we go okay plastic a whole new surface to learn you'll immediately see it's very very slippery as you can see the car is sliding around like crazy it's a very very slippery surface um and you also want to keep grip so 
first of all here you want to not slide it's very hard to see the slides but you don't want to slide in the start so you want to smooth steer the start here the first corner to not slide the other thing is same rules apply to dirt whenever you hit a gear up whenever your car shifts up you want to be fully straight and not sliding otherwise huge slowdown look at this now i was sliding while i hit the gear and i lost so much speed so much speed you always want to gear up when the car is not sliding at all or you're going to drop a lot of speed and then it's a lot of tapping not a lot of smooth steering except when you want to no slide on plastic the rest is going to be a lot of tapping like here a lot of tapping to go around the corners because for some reason the more you tap the higher your rpm gets and the faster your car is actually accelerating on plastic why ask the developers i have no idea but if you do a little bit of tapping, it goes higher into the RPMs of the car and it will give you more speed. It's weird, but it's just how it works. I, I honestly don't know. All right, map two. Same thing. Straighten out the car for the gears and then do a little bit of tapping around this. And we jump into the finish. I've played this plastic campaign once before when plastic came out new in the game. It's been almost a year, so yeah. You can also do a little advanced trickster on plastic, which is called speed sliding which also works on other surfaces but you can do it at very low speed on this so between the gear i hit right here and the next one i can do a little bit of sliding with the tapping which means the rpm goes higher which means the gear will be hit faster but remember you need to straighten out the car again when you hit the actual gear because otherwise it's a slowdown it's also a very very advanced trick so no, don't need to border. Also, stay on the inside. Get tight turns and you'll get the AT. Classic map six. Let's go. Oh, pipe. We have a pipe. On pipes, you want to stay on the inside of a turn to have more grip. That is very important. So just go a little bit on the inside of whatever turn you're doing. If you go to the outside, you'll lose a lot of speed and uh, it could kill you. So you want to stay on the inside of a pipe. That's the only tip I'm giving you. The rest is uh, it's pretty hard. You need to figure out how the pipes throw you off a lot. It's very weird to drive in the first place. But you'll get there. The more pipes you drive, the better it will get. And uh, then you won't. once upon a time, you'll be able to do it as fast as this. And that is going to be 80. Suck! Map number seven. And I think this is the last plastic map. And it's Chad's favorite. It's wet plastic. Oh, boy. So, in this, you want to hold brake and gas. You just hold gas and brake and turn into the direction you want to go. And then you will slide. Like this. Very effective. You need to be angled 90 degrees for it to go into a slide. But that's how you get around corners. So you can wait. You can Don't press the brake until you're at 90 degrees. And if you hit 90 degrees, you do this. You, you hold the brake and the gas simultaneously to get a speed boost. So you want to hold this until you're fully straight lined again, I think. To get it as fast as possible. Wet plastic is very weird though. So I might be wrong. Wiggle maybe? No, not effective on wet plastic at uh, lower speeds. So wiggling is a strat that we're going to cover in the trickster section of the, the all these tutorials. But uh, it's not going to work on something on this speed. Now, actually, you could, you could probably tap to get a sharper angle with the brake. But it's probably going to slow you down a lot. Yeah, it's not effective. You need, you need to hold it. You need to hold it. There we go. That's it. That's a really good run as well. Let's go. I had to correct there a little counter steer on the last one. As you'll see right here, I had to shortly counter steer because it was too sharp. And that's how you do wet plastic. On to the ice campaign we go. Here we go. Map number one. Now, on ice, basic ice tutorial. Here we go. On ice, you want to launch your car into an angle and then counter steer. Launch your car into an angle, counter steer. And the most important part, do not use steering to sharpen or do wide or less wide turns. You use brake and gas. If you want to go sharper, you tap the, the brake to get a sharper turn. If you want to go wider, you release gas very shortly to go wider. You know, like here, releasing to widen it. You hold it, then tap brake to sharpen the angle. Again, brake, a gas to widen it and so on. That's how you play ice. That was map one. So this is the basic strat on releasing and accelerating you can do this as well where you just steer and go very slow then you launch an ice slide with the brake this one is actually very tight then there's special tricks like this where you can do a 360 
I wonder if we need this on this map. Now, the 360 is very complicated, and I don't know if I can really explain it, but just look at my inputs if you want to know how. Like, you do this, you go oversteer, and then you snap it into the other direction to do it again. But I don't think it's a trick we need here. Here, we just need a good setup for this turn. Get a lot of speed. Ow. Wait, this might actually be hard. Okay. So just simple, launch it a bit. It's very hard to control on ice. And then I do a little 360 at the ending, which almost gives me 80. But looking at the records, this is not the strategy. <laughs> so just so that everyone knows how to do it, let's watch the records. So I'm not going to tell any lies here. So it is lining it up here, going very fast over it, as I said. Launch the ice light here. And release a lot to break the ice light again. And that's just a lucky clip over the edge into the finish. As I said, these edges, like going over an edge like this, can work. And it can also just go horribly wrong. Do it at your own risk. Ah, it went horribly wrong there. You need, you need a little bit of luck with the clipping on an edge to get it really fast. This was good. Don't clip. Oh, no. My god, it's a struggle. And then we go into the finish and get the AT. Also important part about ice is that full steering is better. So on flat ice like this, you will be slightly faster if you're using a keyboard compared to a controller. Keep that in mind. If you want to learn ice very, very good, use, con use keyboard. It's going to be a little faster. Look, if I do the start with the keyboard, I'll have a little faster start. As you can see, you didn't see my inputs because I don't have it up for keyboard, but it is faster to use keyboard on such turns. Not by a lot, but it do be a little bit faster. You do not want to be sliding. You don't want to be sideways when you hit the hit the edge to the road. You want to be straight lining onto it. So you keep most forward speed momentum. Very important. That was the only trick on that map. It went very quickly, but that's the only trick. All right. Again, launch an ice slide around the corner. Straighten it out. Launch another ice slide. Only use brake and gas to adjust. Do not use the steering. Always hold the full steering. Get the AT. Next map. I think this had a downhill here. Oh, yeah. We need keyboard start again. Launch ourselves into a hard turn because the downhill is here. Then we use the downhill to slide down. Remember, as you can see here on the downhill, if you go down sideways on ice, it will sharpen the slide. So it will sharpen it automatically. And you do not want to release... Oh, that's road, actually. Okay, that was not ideal. Oh, almost 80, though. If you are in high RPM while going in an ice slide and you then release the gas, you will slide out. I will demonstrate it once here. If you go into an ice slide and you have high RPM here and you release, this will happen. You will lose the slide and you will slide out. So watch out for that. If you're high RPM and you try to release, it will most likely not work and end up in something like that. Then again here for this transition, I think you want to ice slide onto it because you cannot straighten out in time. Like on the map before, you wanted to, uh, two maps before, you wanted to straighten out onto road, but there's no time for that here. So you will use the grip of the road to straighten out the car when hitting the road. Like this, you'll use the grip of the road to straighten it out, keep the speed, go into the last corner, and hit the finish. A little slide out there because I hit the snow. Snow it has no grip and you will slide out on it. Keyboard again to uh, get a good start, launch an ice slide here. A dirt trick. So you ice slide into it. But the dirt will actually snap you out of the ice slide and give you a lot of... Oh, God. Wait, this is a jump? Okay, then we jump onto the ice again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Chat, pay close attention. This is, this is a pretty hard trick. So, on this one, you just... You count the steer fully through it. And the dirt will snap you back into a straight line, which works. Uh, let's see if it's the same trick here. No, here you don't... Well, here it doesn't matter. You can, you can turn slide to the side... But I guess here you just straighten out for the second one. But the first one, just hold hold the ice light. Even when you hit the dirt, it will snap back into the correct angle. Suck. Because it gives you a boosted grip on the dirt. And on the last one, you just try to get less angle. Use all the knowledge from the dirt tutorial. And try to keep as much speed as possible. Onto it. I hope Chad is taking notes. Suck. Little speed boost up the hill. And then we're just going to go for a tight line here. Keep the speed. Keep the speed. Going to go a bit wider and a start for more speed. 
Oh, I'm using keyboard, by the way. You don't see the inputs. That's kind of bad for me. I use keyboard for the better start because it is faster. As I said before, and then we go a little tighter here. Full tight. And that's CAT on this map. Reactor boost on ice. First time we see reactor boost. So uh, it works like normal ice, but you turn harder. Like the turning is just way, way more aggressive because it gives you more grip. It's the same mechanic as we used before, but it just has more grip. So as you can see, it, ay, ay, ay. you have to try it for yourself because it feels a lot different, but it gives you more grip. Better turning angles and uh, yeah, but same technique with braking and releasing for the turns itself. Ah, wait, I'm losing a second. Reactive boost is very difficult to learn. Right, there we go. And there we go. Less angle, a lot of speed out of it into the finish and that's CAT so in gear 1 you can't isolate so you need gear 2 if you're trying to isolate in gear 1 it will go horribly wrong just like my PB it will go very horribly wrong if you try to isolate in gear 1 okay minus 0.9 so I need to catch a little bit of time in the ending go up launch ourselves around this very sharp turn and we launch ourselves up the hill. And that's ice done. Last map. Grass here. Let's go. Okay. First time. We didn't actually see this in the dirt campaign. Wait. Let me see that. This is not IT. No. First time. We didn't see this in the dirt campaign. Watch out. In the start, you see this a little darker surface right here where the trees are. That is penalty grass. And it's going to be slower. So you want to avoid that at all costs because it's gonna slow down your car immensely. Next thing, same thing applies as plastic and dirt here. You wanna always be straightened out when hitting a gear. So make sure you're facing straight with your car when you hit a gear and then it's gonna be easy clap like that and just go tight lines and so on. Why is it slower? It has less acceleration. So the, ca the speed is capped to 100 on penalty grass. Now, another effective way to use grass on maps is this. You use grass as a setup because you do go into a slide and you can use it as a setup to drive onto a dirt, uh, onto a road to start a slide or a tighter turn. So you pre-drift it on the grass and on the transfer, it will transfer very nicely around the corner. Now, obviously, if you do not wish to slide, you want to hit it straight like all the other surfaces to transfer as much speed as possible onto the road. Okay, let's try to do this in a good way. It's going to be kind of hard because I don't really see the edges. Here we don't need that much angle, but we may have to slide it. Yeah, I think the second road part, we do want to hit in a slide. Like here, we want to slide a bit. Tap the brake to get a sharper turn. Go to the finish. And that is a 69, but it's too slow. Here we go. Gear up. I scuffed it a little bit. I ate the gear a little bit in my lingo. And then we go here, and that should be it. There we go. Last map, ladies and gentlemen. Dress number three. What do we have here? Oh, okay. Here, same thing that I taught you on dirt already. You do not want to do this. So you see, you're sliding, but sliding is always slower. So what do you want to do? You want to smooth steer and no slide it. No skid marks. Look at this now. Look at the difference. Oh, I slid out. But yeah, if you smooth steer it, you keep more speed. You can do it in the first turn and maybe don't need it in the second one. Do this. Then you can launch yourself into a slide for the second turn and then go to the finish and that's it done speed run finish a little tip here at the end for all the keyboard drivers go into your settings go into input there's something called an action key if you hit the action key button it will limit your steering to a certain percentage for the first turn for this turn here it will limit your percentage exactly and you will be able to no slide you need to tap it once to activate tap it again to deactivate and you will be able to do this i'm not a keyboard driver i can't really explain to you but there's going to be bobsleigh in the next video where i will go over it in detail thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one with yeah. tricks of bobsleigh yeah. and yeah. so on yeah. 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 Uh, coming in, in. yeah flex i just want to win yeah la bb who we running with yeah 2-2-3-3, I'm on 10 again